In this video, we're going to look at setting the default option on invoices. We're going to cover the report criteria menu, invoice options, option combinations, and finally saving your settings as the default. In Control, we use the report criteria menu to select our options for invoices. We find the report criteria menu from any open order. We go to Print, Standard Invoice, and the report menu will come up. All right, let's go into the report criteria menu and see the various options and see how they affect our invoices. The first option that we have on the menu is roll child totals into parent. Now, this option, like a couple of others, requires a prior option to be selected. In this case, we need to be showing child items in order for us to roll the totals into the parent. So for this option to work, print child items must be first uh, selected. Now, assuming that the roll child totals in the parent is selected on the report, uh, you'll notice that the subtotal has a total of $1,116.54, which includes the first line item, uh, which is the roll sign print, plus the child item, of the, which is the installation. Looking at the example below, that item is not checked off, and we'll see that the subtotals on both the line item and the child item are separated. The next option on the report criteria menu is the print invoice barcode. When this option is selected, Control will print a barcode above the invoice number, and when it's not selected, the barcode will not be printed. We'll take a look now at the Show Customer Tax ID option. When this option is selected, your uh, invoice will print the customer's tax ID down here on the bottom right next to your subtotals. Um, if the option is not checked, the customer's tax ID will be left out. Print images will allow you to print the image attached to a particular order. Looking at an example of that, in the first line item we have print images selected and the image that's attached to that order shows on the invoice. If we leave it unchecked, uh, the image is hidden. With the Show Notes option, any notes that we've typed into our order will print on the invoice uh, here in this uh, field. If the option is not checked, of course, the notes will not print. When print payments is selected on the invoice, the customer's payments will show on the bottom of the invoice, including the date, the method of payment, uh, tracking number if there is one, and the amount. When that option is not selected, that field is left blank. When the Show Store Tax ID option is selected, Control will print your store's tax ID underneath the subtotals on your invoice. When that option is left unselected, the store tax ID is left blank. The Print Return Stub option will print a return stub on the bottom of your invoice, including the customer's information and payment information. If that option is left blank, that field will be left blank on the invoice. For this next option, I need to go into Control, and we're going to look at the product setup of one of our products, in this case, the Roll Sign Print. In Control, each product has a product code, which by default is what's going to print on your estimate or invoice. If you select the next option we're going to look at, it's not going to print the product code. It's going to print the text on estimates. In this case, we've changed the name from Roll Sign Print to Banner Prints. So if we select this option, Display Print As for Product, Control is going to take the Text on Estimates field and use that as our product name, such as Banner Prints. If we leave that field unchecked, uh, the product code name will default to the product name. In this example, Roll Sign Print. Selecting the Show Service Ticket Stub, Control will print a service ticket stub on the bottom of the invoice, including date, time, completion, the technician that worked on the job, and a field uh, for uh, acceptance. When that option is not selected, that field is left blank. When print child items is selected, control will print the child item associated with any line item on the invoice. In the first example, that's checked off. We have the roll sign print, which is the line item, and the child being the installation. In the second example, with that option turned off, the child item is hidden. The print fold lines options will print four fold lines on your invoice to help you fold that invoice into uh, for placement in an envelope.
when that option is not selected, the full line simply don't print. When the show line item taxes option is selected, on each line item, control will print any, any taxes that are liable for that line item. When that option is not selected, the taxes do not show on the line item, but will show on the subtotal at the bottom of the invoice. The show parts option will print the invoice with a list of all of the parts that were required in the production of that product. As per the example on the left, when that option is left unchecked, the parts will not show. Show progressive is an option for use when you are using progressive billing in control. And the way that it will look like is when that option is selected and progressive billing is in use, uh, the invoice will show a percentage completed and an amount due based on that percentage. If progressive billing is not uh, in use or is not used uh, or the option is not selected on the invoice, that field will just be completely left blank. If we select the show split taxes option, at the bottom of the invoice on your subtotal, control will split your taxes into state and county taxes or any other tax liability that you have set up. Uh, when that option is not selected, as in the example in the bottom, uh, only the total taxes in one lump sum will show. If the use customer's AP contact option is selected, control will use the billing contact as the contact on the invoice. In the option above, the billing contact for this company is Susie Accountant. In the option below, the primary contact is Joe Blow. Uh, when that option is not selected, the primary contact prints on the invoice. When that option is selected, the billing contact will print on the invoice. After you've determined which options you're going to use in your store, you will want to save those as the default setting. You can do that by pressing the button in the lower right-hand corner of the Report Criteria menu that reads, Save These Settings as the Default. This is a global setting which will affect all, all systems printing invoices in your store, but it will ensure that all invoices are consistent in the information that they print out. That concludes this video, and I hope that you found it helpful.